The reason why you're not making the money that you want to make, not running the business you want to run, you're not living the life that you want to live, is because you're trying so hard to be efficient and capitalize on all new opportunities and do everything in your power not to miss out on all of these great things happening in the world. The reason why I hate to see beginner entrepreneurs make this mistake is because I did it for so many years. If you're trying to build a business, if you're trying to build an agency, if you're trying to live a better life and you have a lot of big goals, and you want to be successful and you can't sit down for 10 minutes and watch this video and save three years of struggling that I went through. If you can't do that because your brain and dopamine receptors are so fried from doom scrolling YouTube shorts or IG reels or whatever the fuck you scroll on, please just accept the fact that maybe you should do something else with your life. In this video, I'm not going to talk about shining open syndromes. Everyone has already heard a million times about it and you know you shouldn't go for shiny option and you know you should focus on those things. But for example, on YouTube, there is a huge trend of people coming up with these crazy business models, info, product, growth, operation, mega gangster, 50 cent, lyric song, ghostwriter, no code tech automation, SaaS builder, CEO, founder, entrepreneur, killer. You see these videos every single day of people like, why you should become an info gangster producer music owner. For example, you should go out there and help these random people create online courses, sell those online courses. Absolutely fantastic idea, but not really. But you need to understand that, for example, for you, let's say you're a beginner, you have done some dropshipping, you have taken an SMA course. For you to go out there and take some random person and make a digital product for them. First of all, it's really hard, but most people don't realize that making an actually good course is super hard. Like the success rate on the average course out there is like 10%. Like these people say that, yeah, I made this course and I made $10 million and you should also do it for other people. Like making a course is so easy. Like, yeah, of course it was easy. Fucking no one got results from your course. Like you have a 5% success rate. You have 10,000 people in your group or 5,000 people in a group or 1,000 people in your group and you have seven testimonials. And you're telling people that making a course is easy. You failed. Yeah, you made a lot of money, but you didn't make a great course. People don't understand that. It takes so much work and effort and think a strategy to put together a course to take someone from completely zero to actually being proficient at a thing. You're battling against so many things. Like you have to get these people to learn, you have to get these people to sit down, to focus, to understand this concept, to show up on calls, to first of all go through the program. And of course, there are levels to it. If you have a course on like how to tie high or how to groom your mustache, yeah, you can probably figure that out. But it's not easy. You see something super shiny and you're like, okay, this guy is telling me that I can make crazy money if I go make these courses and market them for other people. Yeah, sure, you will probably sign clients, that's probably true, but you have no clue how to make this course. And the guy teaching you, clearly he has no fucking clue how to make a good course. And you get sucked in by this crazy dream of running this super complex and cool new business model, which is like extremely hard to run. First, you have to learn how to create a good digital product. People who have done that for years still fail at it. When we created our consulting program, it's not even a course. We spent one and a half years in product development. We spent like $300,000 the first year on consulting on how to build operations of people here. So it's not just film a few videos and just do this and do that and you have a course. So first of all, that's super hard. Then, okay, you need to be running Facebook ads to a cold audience profitably to a front end funnel, hard as shit. Then you need to hire a team and do email marketing. All of these things, they are super hard. There's no way a beginner just starting out can actually do it. Building an amazing product, spending $30,000, $50,000, getting product market fit, getting first customers into it, scaling it to the level that you need to scale it and then selling it, extremely hard. 90% of people who do that never make any money. And those are professional guys. All of these things look super shiny on the outside. They look super great and you get sucked into these loopholes and you end up wasting a year out of your life. All of these really complex long-term business models that take so much skill and effort and money to actually succeed in, these are all trends, like trends that are not based on fundamental business principles, trends that are based on trends. They have a built-in expiration date. We had a bunch of guys who were thinking about joining our program when the AI automation agency trend was really booming. And we had a bunch of these guys who told us like, oh, I'll just go build an AI automation agency. I'll do that. Maybe I'll work with you guys later. We followed up with every single person. We called every single person who told us that. Every single person was back in their 95 after three months. 100%, 10 out of 10 people. Because it was just a trend that they were trying to catch. The same thing going on right now in crypto. It's the bull market. Everything is pumping. Bitcoin is hitting the all-time 
time highs. Beginners are trying to build an agency, trade some crypto and make some crazy gains and super bullish Bitcoin, altcoin, meme coin, crypto degeneracy. And you're trying to focus on once again two things at once. When you are getting started, don't pick the coolest, sexiest looking thing that has the most complex business model. Pick something that is going to teach you basic marketing and sales and business fundamental skills. Something that is always going to be on demand. Something that is not reliant on trends. Something that is not reliant on platforms or any new technology. Something that will work no matter what happens. That's for example why I really like the B2B lead generation agent model and that is why I think that it was the breakthrough for me. For like five years I was struggling in business. I was doing all of these things I was doing. Drop shipping and SMMA agencies. Every single business model that you could find. I was the guy who was going on YouTube seeing these hot trends and taking apart on everything because I thought if I just do a little bit of this a little bit of that I would be able to catch every single trend and I can tell us everything. I was poor for five years. I made some money with some things but I was poor after five years. I was missing Miserable. I went bankrupt with my Shilia supplement company because we didn't know how to run it. We scaled it to 3,000 a day in sales and it exploded because I didn't understand the business principles. If you didn't know, building a supplement company that does seven figures the first year, it is fucking hard. You have supply chains and manufacturing and fulfillment and shipping and posting and sales and marketing and hiring and teams and operations and there are so many things. I knew how to sell. We started the company. We got the supplements on the manufacturing line on a small town in Finland. I hired 15 people, put them all in the office, yelled in front of a whiteboard for three days, taught them how to sell. We started selling. We started in 3,000 a day really fast after a few weeks. And I'm like, okay, boom, this is gonna sell for millions. I'm gonna become this fucking big supplement mogul. My life is finally really great. Three months later, fucking bankrupt. <laughs> we burned the shit down. I didn't know what I was doing. I had to take out a personal loan. No one give a loan to our business because we were fucking pretty much bankrupt. So I had to take a personal loan on my own name to pay for our sales guys commissions. I had just moved into a new apartment. I was sitting on my new apartment's floor, not on a chair, not on a sofa. I didn't have that shit. I was sitting on the floor with my laptop out and thinking, fuck, this is it. Five years in the game, zero dollars in my bank account, minus five thousand dollars in my bank account. What are we gonna do? And then I found out that, hey, maybe I should do something that people are already making money with. Something that works, something that only requires me one skill. And if I could just get really good at this one thing. So I did. I got really good at coding and literation in three months, 30 a month. In six months, 40,000 a month. First year, $400,000 in revenue. And the reason why it works so well is because there's one thing. You don't have to learn how to create a product. You only have to do lead generation. You just have to send cold emails and get people interested and book them into a meeting for other companies. The basis is that every single business model pretty much relies on. If you run, for example, any kind of an agency or freelancing business, you have to do outreach anyway. You have to learn to do lead generation anyway. So you get your clients. So what if that was the only thing you did? And I'm not saying that B2B lead generation is the only thing you can do, but I'm just using it as an example. You need to do this simple things. You can't do the sexy cool things that everyone is talking about on YouTube. You need to do the simple things that work and are based on marketing principles and fundamentals. They don't expire. They're not based on a trend. They're not based on technology. They're not based on any of the shit. They're actually based on the demand in the market. For as long as businesses are selling something to other businesses, people will need leads. And as long as they are doing it with some kind of a message, it can be a carrier pigeon, a smoke signal, letter in the mail, it can be a phone call. As long as some of those platforms exist, or at least one of those platforms exist, you can generate leads, you know, around a million transnations. So you just need to find something similar, something that always works. Sales is always a great example. This was my mindset, and I know a lot of guys have the same mindset. It's like, if I'm gonna do something, I'll do something big. I know it's gonna be hard to start, but I'll do something big. I'll start an e-commerce brand or a cool line or a SaaS company or something really complex. I'll become really good at grind at it. No, don't do that. It's gonna get, take you forever. You're gonna be poor for the first five years. Just do something that makes you money first. Make your first few hundred thousand dollars a year first. There are some actual basic business principles. And then later on, you can go for this higher leverage place with all of these enterprise value, exit value plates. Someone is gonna tell me in the comment section, you are wrong, you are blah, blah, blah. Fucking, I don't care. This is just my opinion. And the reason why it's my opinion is because I've seen it so many times. I've seen it with much more clients. I would say that I have pretty good data. 
years. I've been doing this for probably seven, eight years. A lot of people, especially like people who come from more corporate backgrounds or more traditional backgrounds, they think that entrepreneurship is coming up with this unique idea, coming up with the iPhone or coming up with Amazon or coming up with the Ring doorbell or coming up with this new really specific technology, like inventing something, like being an inventor. You don't have to invent anything. You can just look at what are all of these people doing to make money? Okay, what is the easiest thing that people do to make money? Okay, I'm gonna do that thing. Is there saturation? Yeah, there's probably a bunch of people doing it. But the reason why there's thousands of people doing it is because there's fucking so much money in it. The reason why I'm able to talk about these things and the reason why I talk about this so passionately is because I wasted years of my life doing this. I like would look completely different if someone told me this when I started out. But no one did, or maybe someone tried to, but at least I didn't understand because I was hard-headed as, ah, I know what I'm doing. I'm so smart, I'm smarter than everyone else. I don't need to listen to these people. I hope that this video has that kind of an effect on you. If you liked it, drop me a like. Copy in the comments about your own life decisions. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching the video. Take care. Peace.